and welcome back guys we're on the penultimate day Oshkosh 2023 and uh, lots of people have left already we are now looking at the vintage aircraft lots of room here in the field so people have left um i think that's the i don't know if that's that should be the north looks like we have some uh, rain clouds it actually rained earlier today that's a mooney right there and here we have a cessna 310 uh, funny story a few years back these things were going for peanuts they were going so cheap it wasn't even funny and uh with the prices of aircraft these days well these things will command a very uh nice premium but they're they're solid aircraft if you take good care of them the landing gear they used to be problematic uh otherwise uh, they're great aircraft built by uh, cessna over there you have the ultra light cafe And here we have a Cessna 195 with a very clean aircraft. Looks really, really clean. I don't know if they, these things get repowered with something else. Navion, that's that aircraft I have on the other video and I couldn't figure out the name. The Navion. And these were also going for good prices not so long ago. For some reason they're not very popular, but a great aircraft. Made by the Ryan Aircraft Company. These two are very nicely restored. Great paint. Let's take a look. I mean, you don't see them every day. You don't see these Navions every day. This one has improved uh, modern LEDs up front for the landing light. It looks like a fixed pitch. I don't know, that could be a variable pitch prop. It's got retractable gear. LEDs also on the landing light. It's got a tip tank. LED position light on the tail. Very good paint job, guys. And just remember, it's got the LED light right here. And here you have another one, the Ryan Navion. Great aircraft, but with aviation, you always want what is common because then you can find uh, mechanics almost everywhere. And here is an early Cessna 210. Um, yeah, that's what she does. I, I, I absolutely love that. Is this a 206 or 210? Yeah, this looks like a 206. Uh, it resembles the 210 that I had because on the early ones you have this chain, which is where the landing gear would uh, retract into. So this is a 1967. Oh, uh, I don't know. This is a 206. looks like a 206 great aircraft they say if anything fits in it then it flies great 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 aircraft and over there we have a Cessna 310 let's continue I think there's gonna be a show tonight. Okay. 
and here we have another older aircraft deal dragger looks like a Cessna very nicely restored with the radial engine Cessna 3 10 so we're on the south 40 here we have a Mooney and the Moonies you can tell them easily by the, the, the shape of the tail uh, for a long time this used to be the fastest uh, single engine aircraft and LED lights and uh, they had a couple of problems for one you can see how they they have a quite a long wing so when you come into land um, you just have to really be careful with your speed if you don't watch your speed you just glide because the thing sits so low to the ground if you guys can see so you get close to the ground get into ground effect and the thing will just glide 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 all the way to the end of the runway and then you're out of the runway so that's the Mooney and then uh, the second thing that people complain about is that it's a little bit cramped Welcome inside the cabin third thing um, some of the very early ones have wooden wings and people don't like that here we have a detailed bonanza Taking care of the sponsorship of tonight's show, Eric Ball from Fed is here. I can tell you what, thank you so very much for bringing these nice couple of pods here. Beauty no brain out of here. Have a Cherokee there. An early Cessna. Appreciate everyone coming in tonight. Wish you a warm welcome. That looks like an early Mooney. Let's take a look. We are pleased to be here, not just as sponsors of this, but We've got a uh, for the air show uh, stand. Set up that can stop by booth 275, and we're proud sponsors of a Young Eagles $10,000 scholar scholarship that awesome. we announced earlier this week. So, thank, thank you, you all, and have a great thank show. You. All right, Ken Fed Credit Union. Remember, they have rates for everybody. So this is a Globe Suite from 1946 from Massachusetts. They haven't upgraded the lights yet. He has a solar charging panel. Hello. <laughs> Can I take a look inside? All right, folks, we are ready to get things rocking and rolling okay. tonight. I'm Steve Moss. With me, Sean, I'm Stan. Move to Jericho. Bravo, guys. Tell us what we got. Nice coming. aircraft. It looks like it took quite a few hours to polish it. <laughs> just a few hours. <laughs> wow. Did you rebuild your panel like uh, 10 years ago or less? It looks really new. It's fairly new. Okay. Um, the guy that I bought it from did a bunch of work on it right before I got it. Okay, and then your glass also looks pretty good. So do you keep it hangered inside or you have it outside? Hangered inside, okay. Okay. And how has it treated you uh, like for maintenance? Is it like uh, regular, like for a Cessna or? Okay, cool. Thanks for showing me. <laughs> Yeah, it's really, really nice. You guys can see the polish. Looks great. So the air show is about to start. Move forward. V-tail Bonanza. You can tell it's an older one from the antenna. Cherokee 140. And finally, wrapping up the flying Nathan Hammond and the Ghost Rider for the Hamlin Super Chipmunk and North Fireworks. It's a lot of beachcraft here. I think most of the guys who did the beach to Oshkosh it might be packed somewhere here. Enjoy the show. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, director of teaching the high overhead show center. We've got jumpers away. The first two jumpers are the Red Bull parachute team. They are out. They're going to be flying fast, small parachute team and maybe a wingsuit. We have a lot of excitement coming. Miles Gasser, Amy Chimalecki, Luke Akins, and Mike Swanson jumping out first. They were invited by the parachute team. 
who's coming out of the PC6 now, Steve. It looks like we've got going to have seven jumpers all in total here in just a minute. We've still got them coming out. We are just about away. There's some more out the door. Yeah, lots of Canadians. And the Canadians, you can tell, their country registry is uh, Charlie. See, the United States is going to be N. And uh, I think Mexico is XM or X. Wow, those guys drop really fast. For the Red Bull. Parachuting. Oh, that guy is coming down fast. Oi! Ha! So it's now 182. I'll check that out. Another V-tail Bonanza. It's an older one. Those things, I, I believe they started producing them like 1947. But they're about. I think they are too. Can you think of a more perfect night than the folks here at EAO Richard 2023 have brought the perfect weather? Check out those tires. The sun is set. Super sky hot. Professional park photographers like Larry Grace have told me that this is absolutely the best night. We are in the golden hour. And look at the moon. I know. So, folks, if you have a professional camera, an amateur camera, your cell phone, whatever it might be, watch that. The US flag coming down, down with the moon in the middle of the background. You know yeah. what? You don't see that here. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, now is the time if you would rise if you are able. Gentlemen, please remove cover. We are about to start our national anthem, sung, recorded by the Ladies of Liberty. Oh, say can you see? By the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous skies o'er the ramparts we watched.